Hey everyone, I hope you're having a great day. So this is today's science video, and I'm pretty excited because what we're going to do is we are going to make a prediction about what something's going to look like under a microscope. And you might be thinking, Mr. Montgomery, what is a microscope? Don't worry. I'm going to tell you what a microscope is. So a microscope is this cool tool that it kind of works like a telescope. You know how a telescope can let you see stuff that's really far away? Well, a microscope lets you really zoom in on pretty much whatever you want. So we're going to zoom in super, super close on this leaf. I went outside, I pulled this leaf off a tree, and this is what I'm going to use with my microscope. So it's really going to zoom in a ton. And it's not going to look like this when we zoom in with a microscope. It's going to, it might kind of look like a, a green blob or something because it zooms in so much, it's not going to look like a regular leaf. Just, so just remember that for the activity I've planned for us. And for this activity, we are going to make our prediction about what it's going to look like. And I'm going to explain to you what prediction is and the science word for it and all that stuff and show you how to make a paper. Well, just using whatever you have laying around the house and a cup. And also make sure you have like a marker with you and some crayons. Okay? So, let me show you how to do it. All right. So, on just a piece of paper, at the very, very top, you're going to write your name. You're going to write the date. I had trouble thinking of a fun uh, title, so I just called it leaf under a microscope. All right, that's going to be the title of it. And what I did for this next part was I just took a just a regular paper cup. Whatever cup you have at home that your parents are okay with you using is fine. It doesn't have to be exactly the same. And what I did was I put it on the paper and I drew a circle around it and I made this really cool circle. See? And right next to it I wrote before the microscope. So what you're going to do is what this leaf looks like, the one that you pulled off a tree or a plant or something, and if you weren't able to, you can just draw the one I have right here. But I thought it'd be fun if you're you know, able to get outside a little bit, uh, not only get some fresh air, but also find a different kind of leaf. So I thought it'd be fun if we all had different leaves. So if you're able to, awesome. If not, that's okay. You can just draw the one I have. And you're just going to draw a picture of that in this circle. And then next, you're going to make another circle with this cup, same way I did before. I just took a marker and I traced all the way around it. That's all. And then next to that, you're going to write microscope prediction. And like I said before, it's a hypothesis. In science, we call it a hypothesis. But I know it can be like a, a goofy sounding word, Maybe it's a little bit tough for you to spell. Um, you can always copy it here, or you can just write the word prediction. Either one is fine. And you're going to draw for me what you think this leaf will look like under a microscope. And the cool thing about a hypothesis, or prediction, is there's no wrong answers. It's the same way as if we were reading a story. We read stories all the time in class, and we make predictions about how the story is going to end. And the, the cool thing about reading stories and making predictions is you can't be wrong. There's no wrong answer because you're just taking a fun guess. So right here, you're going to draw me your fun guess about what you think a leaf will look like when we put it under a microscope and we really zoom in. We zoom in and try to see what it's going to look like. So... Tell you what, I'm going to zoom in right now and give you a different way or a different chance for you to observe. It's another fancy science word. Observe this leaf and make a prediction. What are we going to see under this microscope? So this is as close as my phone can get without it getting too blurry. So what do you think it's going to look like under that microscope? So here's the leaf far away. Here is it really close to my phone. But just remember, a microscope makes 
things, it zooms even more than what I was able to do right then. The microscope is super, super cool. And so it's going to zoom in a lot, way more than we just could, and we might see some surprising new things we didn't know existed in there. I'm so excited. So that is your assignment for today. You're just going to put your name, date, you can go ahead and put the title. What does the leaf look like before we ever put it under a microscope? So right now, what does it look like? You're going to draw this or whatever leaf you found outside. Next, you're going to make a guess. Your microscope prediction or hypothesis, whichever word you, you like more. And then you're going to draw me what you think it's going to look like. Oh, man, I can't wait to see everyone's answers. So just let me know what you think. Use crayon. Make sure you use crayons. I want to see lots of detail here. Lots of detail. Color pencils or crayons. So you can trace it out with a marker for, or marker or pencil or pen first. So like if I wanted to make my leaf, maybe it's it doesn't have to be perfect either. See, I'm not a very good artist. And it's okay. There's my leaf, right? Maybe under the microscope, it's going to look something like, like, um, it's going to take up the whole circle. Maybe there's like veins in the leaf or something. Maybe it's going to look like this. And you're going to have squiggles coming out. Maybe there's squiggles in there. And maybe there's other weird lines. Who knows? We don't know. We've never done this before. So maybe it's going to look like this. And don't forget to color that in. I don't have any crayons. Silly me, I have no crayons. Ugh. I'll got to color this in later. But that doesn't mean you should wait to color it in. Go ahead and get this done. And then in a couple days, we are going to look at this guy under a microscope. All right, get to work. Make sure you send a picture of this to your teacher. So next time I see you guys, we're gonna have the microscope out. And we're gonna be looking at this guy under the microscope can't wait i can't wait so i'll see you guys then i hope you're just as, as excited about this as i am i can't i can barely talk i'm so excited all right i'll see you guys then have a good day